In one of my previous videos, I told you that I could show you how to tune a motorcycle effectively and efficiently with wideband sensors without the use of a dyno. If you're using the Daytona Twin Tech Twin Scan series, you can do that with race tuners, power commanders, TTS master tunes, etc. Or you could just analyze air fuel ratio, for example, on carbureted bikes. Now, to, if you don't have a dyno and you don't have a sniffer, then you would have to install the wideband sensors into the pipe. If you're working with a pipe that has the uh, 12 millimeter bungs in it, or if you're working with a pipe that has no O2 sensor bungs in it at all, traditionally you would have to remove the pipe, drill it, weld in the bungs so that you could install the wideband sensors. And of course, when you got done, uh, you would plug those holes. Taking the pipes off, drilling, uh, welding, putting the pipes back on takes a lot of time. But now there's a better way. We're going to start by finding a location approximately six inches from the exhaust port that's going to be easily accessible and allow us to install a wideband sensor. Of course, you can see we've removed the factory heat shields. We're going to pick a spot right here and center punch it. Using a little bit of cutting oil on a drill bit, we'll drill into the pipe. After you've drilled out the hole, take a small round file, remove any burrs from the inside of the pipe, and take a flat file, remove any burrs from the outside, and we're going to take a hydraulic rivet gun with a swedge rivet, press it into the hole. and pull the trigger. This is a hydraulic rivet gun. It puts in quite a bit of force, but there'll be a fairly positive stop once the rivet's collapsed entirely. Once you have the rivet, rivet collapsed, you're going to press the button on the bottom to release the rivet gun and unthread it. Once it's unthreaded and seated all the way, we're going to take this small adapter, put a little bit of anti-seize on the mounting bolt, and thread it onto the pipe. Be careful not to use too much torque. It's a fairly small screw. Uh, it has a copper washer on the inside, so it doesn't take much effort at all for it to, uh, to seal up completely. Once you've installed that, screw in your wideband sensor and connect it to whatever equipment you need to connect it to to analyze your air fuel ratios. It's as easy as that. Can't get any simpler. Of course, you would repeat the process for the front cylinder. Uh, the whole deal takes five to 10 minutes to do this. When you're done with your testing, you would remove the O2 sensor, the adapter, and uh, the kit comes with plugs and copper washers that you would install onto the rivet, and it seals up perfectly fine. Folks, I've spent hours on a dyno using sniffers, and also uh, using existing O2 sensor bungs already in the pipe and compared uh, the air fuel ratios to using this method and it is absolutely 100% accurate. I put a lot of confidence in it. So this is a great, easy, simple way for you to be able to tune without sniffers and without a dyno. And uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you're gonna see an update in the future on how I use the Daytona TwinTech twin scan system uh, to tune TTS master tunes, power commanders, and race tuners using this very same setup and these wideband sensors, again, without the use of a dyno. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, please like the video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want one of these kits, give us a call. Be glad to hook you up. Thanks a lot for watching.